Yo, what's good? Let's check out the first episode. Is this gonna be considered the first episode of the Red Light District arc? Or are we just calling this episode like eight of season two? Um, Yeah, let's check it out. Logo reveal. Now, make sure you follow my socials and don't forget the YouTuber things. And if you wanna check out other reactions for this series, you can click this link right up here. It'll take you to that playlist. Shout out to our amazing patrons over on Patreon, getting access to the full length reactions of all of the anime from fall 2021 onward. If you want to join in and become a patron, then make sure you click the link down in the description. And that way you can get access to those full length reactions for the anime that I watch seasonally. And if you're interested in more exclusive reactions that won't be cut up for YouTube for quite a while, We've got a tear for that. Now, today, I am joined once again by Diana. Hello. So, when it comes to Demon Slayer, I've read all of it. I know basically everything that's going to happen. Though, admittedly, the anime does add in a little bit here and there, and it spices it up. Ooh, it, it adds flavor. The manga is, you know, it's the manga. But the anime, man, they go all out. No holds barred. It is absolutely beautiful. So, this is definitely, in terms of quality... I think this is one of the best series out there. And I actually really do like the Demon Slayer anime. Uh, and then on the other side of things, Diana has never read it and just watches. So um, she's seen that first episode of the Mugen Train arc where we get the Rengoku stuff. Obviously, she saw season one and we've also seen the movie. Uh, so she doesn't know anything about Red Light District or any of this stuff. Um, I honestly doubt she even remembers Uzui, but... who? Yeah, probably not. Uh, I guess I guess when you see him, you'll probably be like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah I've, I've seen that guy before. That's basically it. So Mugen Train arc, I think this is going to start a little bit like with the end of that. So that way we can get a refresher for what happened. Uh, probably not going to cry just because I did enough of that during the Mugen Train movie. And yeah, Diana, anything to add about uh, Demon Slayer? Let's get the shit. Oh, sorry. Um, let me try not to be cringe. <clears throat> yes, I'm ready. <laughs> Stop. Okay, so it is starting with the end of it. I, I figured it would. <laughs> Time to cry again. Is this shit playing in like freaking two FPS? What the hell was that? I just realized I didn't have subtitles on. Oh shit, me too. <laughs> Don't know Japanese. Come on, man. <laughs> it feels like it sometimes though. <laughs> <laughs> He's saying Rengoku san. It's like. Oh, he said Rengoku. I understand. And this shit is beautiful. Oh, actually, it was really sad, man. Even though I've already seen it, just sad. Yo, I'm starting to feel like I don't remember reading the manga as much anymore. <laughs> man, I feel like I have a good idea of who this kid is, but interesting intro. Mm. He a demon, ain't he? <laughs> They're saying like, oh, he's such a good boy, so like, too much. Damn, what the fuck this man said? Uh, I wish I could trade my idiot son. Like, what the damn, bro? He's just so fucked up. Oh, that's like the instant hint right there. He suffers from a skin disease. He can't go outside. <laughs> Sounds like a demon to me. <laughs> So he is a demon! Not just any demon. It's Muzan. <gasps> yeah. Oh! It's Michael Jackson. What the heck? Oh. Yeah, right? <laughs> it's creepy, man. He has the ability to do that. Like, go from to old to young. Go older. Okay. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah, well, he's like Crazy. the OG demon. That's why. Uh oh. Damn, boy. His family ain't gonna notice that. I heard glass break. They probably think he's freeing an animal that was stuck in the room. Yeah, right? He did some, like, good deed. Damn. They're just gonna be oblivious to all this shit that just happened? <laughs> I wanna know. Imagine Zenny 2 of all people saying there's no use cowering. Forever. Like, what? Man, already training, huh? Yep. Or not? Uh, it's going somewhere. Mm. 
Ah. And Tanjiro is putting further strain on his abdomen by carrying around a box with a person in it. Oh. Bro, shut I'm up. saying, dude, shut the... You're worthless, you fucking Look worthless Look at you, you fucking bum. Yeah, you fucking, yeah, you fucking bum. Get out of here. Tanjiro, pop off, bro. Pop off. Man, he's not going... Waste his time on this guy. This man needs to tuck in his little fucking leg. I put two feet on his property. What the fuck? Bro, how are you gonna let this man put hands on you like that? Nezuko needs to crack open the box and bite his fucking titty off or something. What? Cause he was like right there, you know? His titty was right up against the box, you know? She could have just cracked it open. Ang! <laughs> this man's mocking himself enough. First breathing. Yeah, doesn't he do a sun, sun dance or some shit like that? Mm. Yeah. Yes! Oh, what the fuck? Yes! Headbutt, dude, that's a KO, bro. Don't apologize, dude. Don't apologize. He's an asshole. He literally started punching you. A grown-ass man. <laughs> Same earrings. Boom. Oh, never mind, I lied. What the fuck? fuck? Dude, Rengoku's dad's an asshole. Oh, Suguko, that must be like uh, like an apprentice or something. Oh. Mm. Aww. Yes, sir! <laughs> Fair enough. It's the hilt. I feel like it kind of clashes with his outfit, though, you know? He's gonna have to get, like, a new outfit if he wants to match with his new sword. Kind of sounds like Tanjiro a little bit, right? Am I crazy for that? Um, a little bit. Yeah. Bro, just leave him, bro. That's not what he said. He said, you're only kind of an asshole. Nah, tell him what he said. Not even something mean, you dickhead. No matter how much of an asshole you've been, he was always nice. And yeah, you know you fucked up now. Aw. Damn, bro, I'm tearing up. What the fuck is going on? What the f- What the fuck? Oh, ha! <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, hell uh -oh. no. You better run. Yeah, you better fucking dip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell no. That's scary, bro. <laughs> Dude, it's no wonder that Inos Inosuke is so strong. Like, he literally is going through extra, like, breathing training, like, stamina training. This man's got this hot ass mask on all the time. True. What in the hell? <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> so adorable. Imagine being in that box all the time. Oh, that must suck. Hell oh, no. shit. Oh, nah, bro. Damn, that is some nightmare fuel, bro. That's sick. Squad! Damn, girl. Ugh. That is gross. <laughs> I don't know why. It's kind of funny. <laughs> it's kind of funny just standing there. What the hell? What did he, did he jump off of something? How did he turn around like that? <laughs> you see what I'm talking about? They look a little funny standing there in the... <laughs> yeah. In the eyebrows. 
Oh, it's true. He did have a funnier looking face. Tanjiro <laughs> had a funny looking face though, standing there. Don't let him, them de be taken! <gasps> Attack! Hahaha! <laughs> <laughs> Little face. Uh oh. It's like you thought. He's supposed to say flamboyant. Flamboyant. They call him a hentai. That's the easiest way, dude. <laughs> Damn, that's kind of savage. Squad. That's so sick, dude. Oh, that's dope, dude. Yo, I need some, like, fucking, some, like, some trap type of shit, like, drop, like, right there. That was hard. Whoa! What in the hell? What the fuck? That is a child! Okay, I think maybe it was like a spanking thing. That's why. Because he said, don't defy me. So I don't <laughs> think it was like a- I don't think it was a weird thing. I think it was like, uh, you defied me, bad kid, right? Let, let's just say it was that. Let's say it was yeah, that. sure. Okay, let's, let's say it was that. Mm. Very flamboyant that. place. Oh, wait, is that the actual end? Wait, I think okay, there's spoilers. Was well, something after though? Oh yeah, you might want to. Well, this is the OP. Oh, he paints his nails too. Look. Yeah. I need to get jacked so I can fucking cosplay as this man. Ah. All right, let's uh, talk about the episode. So, Diana, you tell me everything that you thought about this episode. Go. It was nice. I don't know. Um, not really blown away. Uh, it, I feel like it was like you know, decent episode. It was introductory. That's uh, it, it yeah. was. It was more like um, a, a gap episode. One to sort of bridge everything from the Mugen Train arc into the next arc, which is the Red Light District arc. Okay, so um, let's talk about the different things, and I just want to hear your opinion on them, and then I can give mine afterwards. So everything starts off with you know finishing up the Ren Goku stuff. Oh, uh, thoughts on Mugen Train? What are your thoughts on Mugen Train? What do you What do you mean? The movie and stuff. Like, how do you feel about it? Oh, I mean. I talked about it before. I, li I like the movie. It was good. Okay. Um, I guess one of the things about this episode uh, is the, 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 the master guy. Muzan. Yeah. Kind of learned that he... Well, I learned that um, he can make himself young or old. Yeah. Kind of yeah. weird, but... Well, he's, he's a demon. He's more or less ageless. Like, he's the original demon, you know? So he's been around forever. OG, OG. Yeah. Um, I mean, you could tell he's really powerful just by the way that he treated, um, I don't remember people's names, but dude with the stripes that showed up, the way that he treated him, you know, the fact that he was able to just make him so submissive and also do this attack. There's literally, this man just put out his hand and it was just all yeah. pressure, pressure that caused him to start bleeding. And you see like the veins popping and everything. Like that just goes to show you how strong he is. And this is the guy that defeated Rengoku. Yeah. Like that just goes to show you, man. Muzan, another breed. Different breed. Okay, how did you feel about all the stuff with Ren Goku's family, Tanjiro? I don't know why the little brother is just staying there. I mean, is he just waiting until he gets older to leave? Like, just get out of there. His dad is a freaking asshole. Or maybe his dad's gonna change now that he, you know, cried a little bit. Is that the beginning of change? I really like that. I like that thought process. Yeah, I think that the uh, the reason he stays is because he's a kid, so he doesn't really have anywhere to go. Same reason like Ren Goku stayed until he was able to leave. Same same sort of thing. Yeah, but I, I like that thought process that that maybe change could come. You can see how he's affected by those words. It causes him to cry. Maybe he'll he will change. You know, maybe it might take a little bit more than just that to 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 actually change. But you know, maybe that plus Ren Goku's younger brother influencing him could cause him to change a little bit towards being less of a dickhead. That'd be nice. Mm -hmm. We also heard the talk of the, the fire dance. I, I'm pretty sure it's the sun, the sun fire dance, the sun god dance, 
Sun God Dance, is that what it's called? What is it called? The Sun Dance of the Fire God is what it's called. Okay, my bad. Yeah. So they mentioned that and the 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 also the the sun breathing. Sun breathing is the original breath form. So water breathing, fire breathing, wind breathing, all of these breaths are all branches or or replications of it. You know, they're all replicas. They're not the real deal. The true breathing form is the sun breathing form. That's what we found out from Rengoku's papa. That's very interesting. Those earrings he got from his father and Rengoku's father himself says that those earrings were something mentioned in the book of like, you know, the ancestors of the of the uh, fire breathers or fire fire breath users and stuff, right? It's interesting. It's very interesting. So, yeah, he leaves on good terms with with the the sun and and um then he he gets basically attacked by the guy that made his sword. That's who the with the weird mask and stuff. That's the one that made his sword. So he gets a new sword, obviously. And then there's some training. Then you can see him trying to do his stuff. And then that's when we come back to the Butterfly Mansion and meet up with Uzui. So Uzui has a mission. He needs to go into the Red Light District and take down some demons. Strong demons. That is where Tanjiro, Zenitsu, and Inosuke fit in here. They are going to be helping to take down these strong demons in the red light district that's essentially what the next arc is it's a really cool arc now they're going to be taking on a strong demon in this next arc with uzui we see that they're training it's quite possible that they will have the ability to actually help more um with the actual like with this demon they weren't able to help with the last one they had to watch Rengoku do everything on his own. They were only able to take down that one lower demon. You remember the lower one, the actual like train demon? Because yeah. um, Stripes was separate. He showed up afterwards. So that's interesting, man. Um, I would love to see how that all turns out. How do you feel about Uzui so far? The ninja guy. The flamboyant one? Mm -hmm. Why the hell he slapped that little girl's booty? Stop. What? Don't make it weird, man. It he wasn't a weird it, thing. It was like a, it, it was weird. like a, no, it was like a, it was like a, it was like a punishment thing. Like you're bad. Ah, bad kid. That's mm -hmm. all it was. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah. I mean, I, uh, I guess I'll find out next episode how I feel about him. I don't really know anything about him. True. They didn't really give us Does much. He'd like to kidnap little girls. No, no, no. He was trying to, no, they are, no. they are part of the core. So he was trying to get some young women to be the people that helps young. him women young girls whatever man he's trying to get the like, girls to be his assistants for this mission because he needed girls for this mm -hmm. which is funny because he ended up getting tanjiro zenitsu and inosuke and they are not girls so we'll see how that whole thing plays out <laughs> maybe what yeah we'll see how it turns out depending on what kind of mission is this is what do you mean what is it? I mean, by the looks of that outro, it looks like they're going somewhere. Oh, yeah. Red Light that, District. Yeah, yeah. That requires ladies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So essentially, they're going to have to pose as girls. <laughs> it's going to be funny. Yeah. yeah. So with that said, we would love to know what you all thought about this episode down in the comments below. Please leave a comment. Did you enjoy this episode? Did you think it was a good branch into this Red Light District arc? How do you feel about Uzui so far? Uh, we, would we would just love to hear from you down in the comments. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, then like the video and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss another one if you like anime-themed content, since that's what we make on the channel. And until next time, make sure you all keep it fresh. Peace. Peace.